I'm so excited because my next guest is an acclaimed singer, pastor, speaker, and composer of such beloved church music like Shout to the Lord, one of my favorite worship songs ever. I love her music, but I've loved just watching her countenance and joy when she's led in worship. And when she faced a life-threatening cancer scare, it inspired her to help others in crisis with a brand new book called The Golden Thread. All the way from the land down under of Australia, would you please join me in welcoming Darlene Check. Wow. <laughs> it is such a genuine joy to have you. Thank you for coming and being here. What a joy. It's an honor, absolute honor to be with you and this amazing band. They are and terrific, <laughs> aren't they? Yeah. They are Thanks, great. Guys. So good. Thank you. The title of your new book, mm -hmm. The Golden Thread. What, is, yeah. what does that mean? What is a golden thread? Okay, so the golden thread came from, um, actually a friend of ours pointed it out, that it's a Japanese art form that mends broken pieces of pottery with gold. So rather than trying to hide broken things, mm. it brings it out as something to be really treasured and to watch the breaks and to marvel that the piece could come back together rather than it be left in tatters. And, you know, the golden thread, I, in, I thought about it as far as the presence of God goes and that, you know, through all of our weaknesses and brokenness and all of those things, it's God uses us all. You went through cancer a few yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. what, what was the biggest moment that you just said, God, I can't handle this anymore? Just one day I thought, I, I don't know that I'm going to make this. and I just fell on my knees by my bed, between my bed and the wall, so no one would see me. Mm. Just, you know, I lifted my hands up to heaven, and I'm like, God, I yield myself. You know, whether I live or die, I'm actually gonna, I am determined that I'm gonna give you glory. And, you know, help me be a good example for my children in this, because mm. I wanna teach my children how we do this. And, um, you know, that wasn't easy. I wasn't like that every day. <laughs> Some days I'm like, this just, is not good. So it wasn't and that your circumstance changed? The circumstance changed. It wasn't like changed. you just said, I'm well, I go to the doctor, everything's <laughs> yeah. cleared up, nothing like that. No. You changed. God I changed change. inside of you. Something happened. It's like heaven exploded in my heart in a new mm. way. Yeah. You know, one of the songs in particular that, that you mm -hmm. wrote and is probably sung as an anthem all over mm -hmm. the world, literally all over the world in every language, is a song you wrote that, one of my favorites, Shout to the Lord. Yeah. How did that come to you? My two daughters were little. We had a business that wasn't working. We had no money. We were kind of full-time in ministry, but you know, and I just remember a big bill coming in and it just about tipped me over the edge. And I just went to the piano and um, between Psalm 96 and Psalm, 90, and Psalm 100, you'll find shout to the Lord. Uh -huh. And I just sit, sat and literally worshiped God and. In about 20 minutes, that song fell out. 20 minutes. I didn't even really, I can't claim to have written it. It just came out. And I didn't play it to anyone for a little while and then played it to our worship pastor at the time. And he said, I think this is a really good song. You know, we ought to have you do a chorus of it or something with Trey and the band. <laughs> you want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Trey, sweet Trey. <laughs> My Jesus. Lord, there is none like you, and all of my days I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. You want to do the chorus? Absolutely. Yeah. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing power, power and majesty, praise to the King, the mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound.
Oh, <laughs> thank you. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> thank Jesus. <laughs> Darling, check. You're so good. The book is called The Golden Thread, Experiencing God's Presence in Every Season of Life. And you can find it at Amazon, other top booksellers all over the world. You can also read a free sample chapter and find out about Darlene's music and ministry at DarleneCheck.com. Now, I suggest you get the spelling off the screen because <laughs> it is not like what you think it is. <laughs> so right. look at it on the screen and write it down <laughs> so you can get to the right website.